One other way that you can play Star Atlas is to actually get involved in the governance part of Star Atlas. This involves the Star Atlas DAO, the Distributed Autonomous Organization. When you're on the main screen here, if you go over to the left side and you look for the icon that has the DAO, you can go ahead and click on that. That'll actually open up in another website called govern.staratlas.com. Once this new website opens, you can actually go ahead and launch the Govern app. Again, you'll need to connect it to your Phantom wallet or whichever uh, Solana wallet you're using. So I'll go ahead and connect to Phantom. So because Star Atlas is a game built on the Solana blockchain, there are many times where you're going to have to uh, uh, perform a transaction on the blockchain. In this case, you're basically creating your account for the Star Atlas DAO. So we'll see again uh, information here, the wallet I'm connecting, and again, click connect to go ahead and uh, process that transaction. Once that's done, you'll see that your wallet's connected and that you have different things here. So there are a couple things I'll just kind of go over briefly, but this would be something you can explore if you're interested in this. So one, you can actually use a uh, locker or to stake your different Star Atlas tokens. So in this case, you can stake your Polis locker. If you were to lock your Polis at different time frames, that'll allow um, different voting power. You can also state your stake your atlas which will also give you discounts on the marketplace in this case in order to get access to the proposals we do need to go ahead and lock our polis so i'm going to go ahead and click on lock polis and at the top here you get some uh, information about the entire ecosystem we'll see there's our 10 uh, polis that we have in there we haven't locked any and we don't have any locker expirations down here you'll see your different wards and your voting power now, again, we don't have anything locked, so we don't see that. You can actually lock for a different set of uh, time periods here. You have the ability to lock for two weeks, a month, three months, six months, all the way up to five years. Each one of these comes at a different level of PVP, which stands for Polis Voting Power. Um, and they're there. So I'm going to go ahead and select just the two weeks because um, this is just a demo. I'll go ahead and type in, but I'm just going to go ahead and hit... Uh, 10 so we leave a few tokens out and we'll see our polis voting power and some of the charts here if everything looks good go ahead and click on the lock tokens now again big word of caution i am locking this for two weeks so until physically or not physically but until two weeks actually goes by i have no access to this there's no way to get them out early or anything like that so this is um basically giving it to the uh, Star House DAO to temporarily hold it for those two weeks. In exchange for that, you get Polis voting power, and you will actually, if we scroll back up, you will get a little bit of claim rewards. Um, very small amount, because we're locking a small amount, but that's what it is. And again, you can do research on different options here. So go ahead and click on Lock Tokens. It again, it confirms that we want to do this before we do. So we lock the tokens. And in this case, we have an error message that you need at least 0.15 soul in your wallet to complete this transaction. So I'll go ahead and close that. And we'll go back to our Phantom wallet. And we'll see that our Solana, unfortunately, is only 0.11 at this point. So this is, uh, again, a perfect example of how um, you're basically uh, paying different amounts. Uh, again, we started with the idea of $100. And my recommendation is to think of it like a monthly plan where you're going to continue to put in money. You're not just giving them $20 and things, but to do different things, you may need to uh, add some stuff. So in this case, let's go ahead and up that a little bit. But I should uh, mention here that when it's actually not going to cost us that 1.5, that is more of just you have to have a minimum number. Why? I'm not sure. But the actual transaction will be much smaller than that. So we'll go ahead and do another swap. And in this case, again, we'll swap in, um, well, I, we'll swap in enough to get up to that one. So we'll go ahead and do a swap. We'll go ahead and do some USDC. We'll select a token, put it into Solana. Okay, so $5, that gives us 0 0.2. And I already forgot my numbers. <laughs> That's okay. Lots of uh, blockchains going back and forth. So we currently have 0.14, so we need 0 0.04. So back to swap. Again, we want to swap from USDC to Solana. 
and we want to see what five dollars gives us 0 0.02 nope so we got to do 10 per zero five now uh, let's try nine dollars how about eight dollars okay that seems better okay so we'll go ahead and just review that order and as long as everything looks good we'll go ahead and do a swap Okay, tokens have been in there. Go back to the main screen. And we'll see that our Solana now is 0.16. So we have enough to go ahead and continue this. So we'll go back here. Double check everything's good. We'll hit the lock tokens button. Go ahead and lock it. And this does happen from time to time where something's different. So because this is a web browser, it actually hasn't refreshed to go back out to the blockchain to see what things are there. So even though... The phantom wall, it says we have 0.16. Let's just double check. Yep. The website doesn't. Simply go ahead and refresh that page. Okay, so we refresh that. Double check that our, we're still logged into our phantom wallet. Yep, and the things are. Okay, so let's go ahead again and click lock polis. We'll go down. And again, we'll select two weeks, 10 tokens, and we'll lock tokens. Yep, we want to lock tokens. And now we got the approval. So again, just took a refresh, up pops the phantom wallet, and we'll see a few different things here. So one, uh, again, as I said, we don't actually have to have all that Solana, so it's only going to take out 0.02 does have a network transaction fee and it's going to take our 10 polis. So we'll go ahead and confirm. And our polis, 10 polis tokens have been locked for two weeks. So now if we go back, we saw the screen refreshed, we'll see that uh, our wallet balance now, so that's not locked, is only 0.2. There's our lock thing, uh, polis tokens. It expires in 14 days. Um, we'll see our... Um, Next reward drop is in zero, so, so 10 minutes, then we'll receive that. And we'll see that now we have Polis voting power of 0.7. And again, so long as you have some Polis voting power, you can participate in the DAO. So again, how to? this is one way you can play Star Atlas. This then gives you the ability to go into the proposals and you'll see that different proposals exist. Uh, these may not be the ones you see when you watch these videos because these are currently uh, open for voting. But we'll go ahead and just pick on this. Uh, actually, I guess we'll go to the end because the other ones have already been um, approved. So we'll click on this one here, co-sponsorship. We'll read the full proposal details. And again, we'll have the ability over here after we read it if we actually want to uh, vote yes, no, or ab abstain. So I'm not going to vote in this case because this is just a... Um, beginner's guide on how to do different things, but basically that is one form of Star Atlas, which is the ability to engage with the Star Atlas DAO, the Distributed Autonomous Organization.